Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie, and I'm here today to give you a uh, bag review on my Jerome Dreyfus, or Dreyfus, for any of you um, French speakers out there. But it's his Bobby bag. Um, this is one of the most used bags in my collection, although I am getting ready to sell it. I'll talk a little bit more of that, uh, about that in a minute. I'm gonna try and get through this kind of fast today because my kids are upstairs and they are wild today. Um, so I'm not sure how long I have here before they um, start to creep in on me. But um, this is a bag that I discovered when I was living abroad. I think I said in a previous video that we had lived in Europe, uh, in Holland for a couple of years and it's kind of where my love of luxury handbags began. So um, I just remember we were getting ready to go to Paris and I was kind of doing a Google search on what French designers I should be looking for. And this one came up quite a bit in that a lot of um, Parisian women or, or people that live in France, women that live in France enjoy these handbags. Um, whether that's true or not, who knows, but Google said so. <laughs> but anyway, I definitely uh, fell in love with this one in particular. Um, it's called the Bobby Bag. And if you watched my Proenza Schooler video, you'll probably see that I like a little bit of edge to my bags. Um, not afraid of some hardware. But um, yeah, so let me get started. This is um, the bag. So this is the, the dust bag. You'll see it comes a little cotton dust bag. It's Jerome Dreyfus Paris. Um, and this is my bobby bag. It's like an olive green color. It is just a perfect neutral bag. Um, I may have said before, I don't know for sure, but I'm not a huge black bag person. I do have one, um, but only one. Oh, actually two. Yeah, I have two. Um, but I definitely tend to go more towards um, my neutral kind of browns and this one. Um, at the time that I bought this, um, I was still in diaper bag mode. So I've had this a little over three years now. And so while it was definitely, um, it's suitable for my needs, I did pack a lot of stuff for my kids in the diaper bag. So I, that's part of the problem with it now is that they're I'm definitely, they're almost seven. I'm out of diaper bag mode, but I definitely still need um, a bigger bag that will fit, you know, the snacks and those types of things that I need to take out whenever we're going out of the house. And so this one, I just don't reach for as much. I also have a newer evening bag, and this is kind of what I used to use a lot when I went out in the evening, um, just because it did have a little bit of the hardware and stuff. Now that I have a more formalish evening bag, I, I definitely don't use it for that purpose either. Um, so I just am gonna pass it on. I have a buyer, I'm just gonna um, let somebody else show it some love. Um, but these bags, I'm not 100% sure because I did buy this pre-loved, if this is the goat skin or the calf skin. Uh, I think it's the goat skin, but Jerome Dreyfus definitely has the boho smooshy bag kind of vibe. You're not going to find a whole lot of structured bags. Um, since, I, since I first started looking at his bags, um, a lot of them have kind of come and gone, but Bobby is definitely one. Um, Igor, I think, is another one that's still around, um, which is kind of, I think Igor is like the mama version of this it's a little bigger um but this is one that has stuck around and with good reason because it's a super um functional bag for sure so you, you see it's got the you, these are his kind of classic um triangle triangular sort of shaped placement of the studs on each side of the bag and then you open it up it is lined with suede has the magnetic um closures on both sides so you don't have to worry about your flap um, sticking out or anything like that and I've just got some tissue in here but it comes with three compartments the middle one is actually way bigger than it looks I fit a lot of stuff in there it has the back compartment with a mirror that's removable or detachable and it also all of his bags come with the flashlight inside um, which for me I always just left it out I have it in here now because it's getting ready to go but um I guess if you were in a movie theater or something, it might come in handy, but I just feel like I never use it. Maybe in a bigger bag, you might have more use for it, but I definitely did not use it in this one. Um, and then, yeah, and then it has the front uh, pocket as well. It does not have any pocket on the back, has a couple more studs, 
And then it does have the zippers all around. So this bag expands. So you'll see, this is where it's at now, fully, ex um, sorry, fully closed. And then when you open all the zippers, all right, it opens way up. So this is a massive bag, really. It, it holds a lot. Um, but the question is, do you like the look of it on you when you're, when you're walking around, if it looks like this, right? And for me, that's a no. Um, so I did actually tend to keep it zipped up quite a bit. Um, I may have expanded it a couple of times, but for the most part, it's always remained zipped up. Um, the middle compartment is the biggest. That's where I always put my, I've got a, a smaller size wallet, a, um, key holder, um, that's what will go in there. Then I, the back is where I've always put, you know, like my, I'm a diabetic, I put like my snacks back there, um, any lip glosses, hand sanitizer, or anything like that I always put in the back. And then in the front, it's wide open. I mean, it's a big, um, it's where I've always put my phone and anything else that I, I needed to shove in there. Um, it'll handle all your basic needs. There's no doubt about that. Um, but as I said, just as I've, gotten into a different stage of life I just feel like um it doesn't hold exactly what I need anymore and you'll see here's the um little imprint there of the label um these used to come this one is a newer version uh so it doesn't have the zipper straps with the um actually this one doesn't have a zipper at all inside but they used to have like the french flag on these zipper pulls, which I thought was really cute, but I they got rid of them. They definitely don't have them on this anyway, and I'm not sure if maybe it's due um, just to the look, you know, it kind of makes it a, a less um, or a more casual look, I guess you would say, to have those there, but I thought they were cute. But if you look at like way older versions, I don't know exactly what year that stopped, but um, you'll see that they do have um, the French flag colored zipper pulls. Um, so this comes with a detachable strap and you can either wear this crossbody, um, fully extended, or you can, let me just show you this real quick, loop these in through the D rings on the side and attach it back up to this D ring and do the same on the other side. And then you have a shoulder bag. So that's that's very cool. I thought that you can definitely wear it crossbody or shoulder. I like lots of functionality, right? The more you can use it, the better. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful bag. It's worn very nicely. There definitely is some corner wear, but with this um, color in particular, I feel like you hardly even notice it because the bag kind of has this, a little bit of a distressed look anyway. Um, I've had no um, issues with the zippers, you know, the, the wear on the inside. I mean, you can barely even see anywhere on the, on the suede. And I'm very careful with my bag. So the inside is pristine. It really does um, look great. So yeah, if you are thinking about this bag, like I said, for me, I think of this maybe more of a, you know, pre-kid, early 20s, festival type bag, um, or, you know, older kid mom bag, <laughs> when you aren't having to, to carry around quite as many things. Um, but definitely, I would buy from this brand again. I definitely have my look or my eyes on um, a tote bag that they have out right now. I'm trying to remember the name of it off the top of my head and I can't, but anyway. It is beautiful and um, I'm thinking it's probably gonna be my my next purchase. But if you have any questions, please leave them at the bottom. And if you like this video, um, please like it. If you love content such as this on bags that are a little bit on the steeper side, um, I will say that I, I did pay, I think I spent $250 on this and it was almost brand new condition. Um, when I got back from Europe, I remember I started selling some things on Poshmark and one day, I just looked to see if there were any Jerome Dreyfus bags on Poshmark and there are so many. And many times you can get brand new bags with tags at least 50, 60% off. 
um, so you can definitely score some um, great deals because it is a lesser known brand here in the US. Um, I don't think, I think he ships from France, but his site is still actually in Europe. So um, I think you have to pay duty. Hi, totally ridiculous edit here, um, but I, everything went to pot here in my house. <laughs> I had to stop filming um everything's fine it's just you know mom life but um I did go straight from um filming that video to the post office to, to ship that bag out so I don't have any mod shots or anything for you but I love this bag um just to finish my thought on the last thing I was saying um earlier is that it is not a well-known bag or brand here in the U.S. So the worrying about counterfeits and stuff with the secondhand market is definitely not really an issue, I don't think. Um, and you can definitely find some great, great deals um, on his bags. Like I said, I paid $250 for that one. I think it retails $750 or $800. And um, it was pretty much brand new when I got it. But um, if you're looking for something that's new, 24S and Farfetch both carry them. They often have um, styles and colors on sale and they also include them in their discounts when they offer those. So that's an option as well. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will see you soon. Bye.